Hello, beautiful people. I'm Chris Maddox. I'm the founder of the Wild Woman Project and Wild Woman Fest. And I'm speaking to you today because I always speak to you like this at new moon time. And the new moon is upon us. So depending upon where you are in the world, the new moon may arrive on Sunday, December 17th or Monday, December 18th. And it will usher in a cycle that will last us all the way through January 15th, 2018. So this is officially our last new moon of the year 2017. And what a year it's been. It's been uh, for many of us an extremely intense, stirring year. A lot is changing, a lot is moving, and particularly towards the end of this year, 2017, we have seen this kind of radical rising of the dark feminine, uh, going into what is hidden and taboo and unspoken of and, and drawing it up into our conscious awareness with the Me Too movement and all that that has unfurled in us as individuals, in us as a society. And it's only, it's not the beginning, it's nowhere near the end. We're in a process. We don't know how this will all unfold, but what I think we can be sure of is that there is some form of transformation or perhaps an alchemical process that's happening in the collective. My sense is that this is part of the, the integration, the rising of the feminine, and it's gonna rattle the, uh, it's gonna rattle the masculine, the masculine structures and the unhealthy masculine aspects of our society, of our you know, individual sort of psyches and worlds. And we're moving and we're changing and we're shifting. So I think this new moon, our last new moon of 2017, coming right before the winter solstice, is a potent time for us all to really um, reflect upon what has arisen for us this year. Really sincerely sit with that. And, and, then, and then after that process, you know, look forward to the new year because we are co-creating this. And I think the more we wake up to our power in that and our participation in that process, the more we will see sort of positive shifts coming from people whose hearts and motives are in the right place, as in for the good of all. So as we can see, and a, you know, a big focus of our work here at the Wild Woman Project is the, the rising of women in leadership. And that kind of leads us to thinking about you know, our circles and uh, the way in which we gather. So each, you know, if you're new to the project, you may not know, but we make a huge deal about the new moon time. And the heart and soul of our work at the Wild Woman Project are the Wild Woman Project circles that are happening around the globe on or near the new moon time. And in the architecture of that gathering, it's a circle. Shoulder to shoulder, each woman's heart facing center. And from that sort of architecture, we experience something together and everything's guided by a trained facilitator. We do visualization and meditation and intention setting and ritual. And it's a powerful, a powerful force in our lives. So the theme of this round of circles is a continuation of this whole in the flesh series that we've been in and that we'll continue to be in until next through next summer. So our intention here at the Wild Woman Project is to spend this year, summer to summer, focusing on 
embodiment. Focusing on getting inside of our own skin and inside of our own bodies and inside of our own experience. So we're shifting away from an orientation of viewing ourselves and other women as objects and into an orientation that says, I'm alive, I'm part of this great big organism of everything that is, and, and I can feel that from within. And we hope to be less and less and less and less concerned about how we appear to others and more and more and more concerned about what is the organic experience that is emerging from within us moment to moment, breath to breath, so that we can meet each and every moment of our lives and the collective unfoldment of everything that's going on with a high, high level of engagement and a full-bodied presence. So our focus for this particular new moon, the new moon in Sagittarius, Sagittarius, by the way, is considered the great teacher of the zodiac. Our theme this cycle is in these hips, in these hips. So when I say that, maybe you can touch your own hips and feel the flesh of you and maybe the bones of you. These hips right here, these hips. So we're gonna be focusing on getting into our hips and, and specifically using that sort of Sagittarius um, teacher inspiration, thinking and asking the question, what are my hips teaching me? What are my hips teaching me right now? What are my hips teaching me right now? And seeing if we can um, kind of inspire the natural movement of the hips. The hips are part of like a major joint, right? In the body. And our hips and the way they move are so much an expression of our own personal rhythm. Each and every person watching this has their own rhythm, their own way of walking, their own way of dancing, their own way of lovemaking. Every moment of your life, you know, the hips are in movement, some form. So what are your hips teaching you? And for my friends who have had hip replacements or hip injuries or mobility issues, you probably know better than anyone the powerful teacher that the hips are. So we're just asking no matter what uh, is going on with your hips, no matter what size, what shape, how uh, they move, the invitation here is at this new moon to go into this part of your body go into this part of your living experience and say, what's here? What is this place? How can I get in there? How can I experience my hips more fully? So that's our inquiry. And we're gonna be taking this into the new year. So I'm hoping for a little movement, you know, you can dance with this question. <laughs> Uh, you can walk with this question or hike with this question, be with this question in a sort of lived way as you're moving through your life, listening to your hips, feeling the influence of your hips, um, and really viewing them as, as great teachers. So that's the exploration that we're all in. And, you know, um, if this is interesting to you and you'd like to go deeper and share in that circular space, there, you'll find a link below this video. You can find a Wild Woman Project Circle near you. And if you go to that link and you find, gosh, I don't see some, a circle near me, you can download your New Moon Retreat. That is a digital solo retreat with me. It's a video. We'll do more sort of in-depth looking at this theme. We'll do meditation. We'll do intention setting. And you can do it all in your own time and download it anytime. So I hope that you'll feel inspired in some way to join with us in one of those two ways or to just carve out some time for yourself this new moon to listen to your hips and to reflect on what this year has been, what it's taught you, and create your intentions to carry you into 2018. So I'll say one final announcement. We are having a very special edition of Wild Woman School. 
It is the winter solstice edition. It's all about the gifts and the opportunities of the winter solstice time. And it is led by our dear Amanda Petrozelli, who is our director of communications, our long, long time circle leader, member of our love crew. And she'll guide us in an hour and a half class, deep inquiry, bring a candle, bring a journal. I'll be there, I hope you'll be there. Um, and that's on the 21st. Okay, have an amazing, amazing new moon. And as always, you'll be able to find support throughout the moon cycle on this theme at thewildwomanproject.com.